Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to see how to scatter the objects and properly align it. So first we'll create a grass. We can take a node like geometry and just we can go inside and just we can take a line first of all. So in order to create a grass, just we can create a line first. So just I can take a line node and click on this. And now if you want to increase the length of this, uh, we can increase. So here we can see there is an option like length. So we can put it to like two or something so that we can increase the length of this line. So now we will create a geometry based on this line. So for that, we can take a sweep. So just we can search for the sweep and just we can select and click on this. Just we can link to this. And here what the thing is in the surface shape uh, here, we have to put it to ribbon. So that now we can see it has been created a geometry based on this line. And after that, we can come down and just enable this option like apply scale along this curve. So what is the use of this thing is we can make this top part a little bit sharper. So it will look like a grass. And now in order to do that, uh, we can select this point here. So after selecting here, we can increase and decrease the value. So suppose if I decrease this value now, see. It is becoming a little bit sharper on the top and we can decrease more. Yeah. And also we'll make smooth interpolation. Uh, so for example, if you select this point and here interpolation, we can put it to like B spline and here also we can put it to like B spline. So now what the thing is just now it is looking like a triangle. So just we, we need to make a random shape in between this model here. So just we can add the points actually. So in order to add the points, just you can left click here. You can left click and you can drag this point a little bit upper down so that it will be random shape. But still, see, it is not changing the shape of this thing because even though if you added the points in between, still it is not changing. Because for this model, we don't have any height segments to change this shape here. So now we need to increase the height segments. Uh, so, see, if you go to this line, we have only two points one is uh, on the top and one is at the bottom. So we need to increase the number of points so that it will increase the height segments. So if you go here and now you see, suppose if I increase these points, now see, now it is increasing the height segments so that according to this graph, it is changing the shape here. So see now, so suppose if I move this, you can see. So in this way, we can create the different shape. And if you want to make this point a little bit thin, we can make it in this way. And just we'll adjust this a little bit more uh, so in this way. And now we need to bend this grass. Uh, so in order to do that, we can take a bend deformer. Uh, so I can take bend deformer. So I can select this. Just we can connect this to here. And see, now we got this bend deformer. And just I can set this display flag. And also what the thing is sometimes if you sell, uh, if you create a bend deformer, you, you will not able to see this manipulator. So for that, what we can do is we can select here and this node just we can press enter so that we can able to see this manipulator. And now here in order to bend this, it is not in the perfect uh, position here. So first we need to change this position of this to near to the grass. So here down, if you come, there is an option called capture direction. Uh, so for example, so if you put it to zero, uh, let's say if I put it to one in the X, so it's not correct. Uh, so let's say we'll check on to the Y axis. So if you select this and if you put it to one, now we got the perfect position. So by using this, we can now bend the grass here. So just we can select this, see, now we can able to bend this. And also see now it is bending from this region. Suppose if you want to change the positions of this region uh, here, we can sell, uh, use this option, the capture origin. Uh, so for example, I want to move in the Y axis a little bit. So see now, okay. So we can change the position of this region here. And just we'll go to the camera tool. And now what the thing is, we need to scatter this grass around. There is an another way to like scatter this grass in the random directions. First, we need to take a circle. So let's say I will take a circle. And just uh, select this and just I will rotate this uh, so I can rotate it in like 90 degrees around. So I will rotate uh, 90 degrees in the X axis. 
so now it will be flat so now what the thing is by using this circle we can scatter the grass model randomly now i'll show you so how we can do that is like what the thing is for this circle we will have a points like vertices so based on that vertices we can spread this grass around so in order to do that uh, what i will do is just i will for this circle i will take a node called scatter and align so we can take this and just we can connect this and just i will put on to here and now we'll do some settings in this scatter line so just if you select this and here point count method uh, i can put it to like density and now we will increase the density scale so see now whenever i increase the density scale now it's randomly showing the points based on the mesh which is available on the model which we have created here so that means like what the thing is for this circle we have the vertices so based on that vertices it has been created the points and also in order to cover this fully just we can increase this coverage area full so that it will scatter around the circle properly and now what the thing is by using these points we can uh, scatter this grass uh, so in order to do that uh, we can take another node like copy to point so just we can select this and now what the thing is we need to use this model so that we can connect here and now just we need to connect here and we can select this so see now now the grass has been duplicated and scattered on that points here so it's simple just we have used the circle so for this circle we have the vertices points whatever so based on that points it has been created the grass so what we have done is just we have taken the scatter and align scatter and align will show the points uh, like we can select the random points from this circle and by using this copy points we can spread this model to near to these points here and now you can see the grass is very small uh, so in order to get the original size of this we can go to this scatter align and and if you go to this attributes and we have to uncheck this radius attributes so just if you click on this now we got the perfect scale and also sometimes when you uh, do this kind of thing sometimes the grass will come in the re reverse direction that means because see whenever we create the circle here so at present now whatever the circle I have created it facing towards the up direction so that's fine so that's why we are getting the perfect thing so sometimes if you create the circle it may face towards the down direction and say for example so if i uh, rotate it to like nine minus 90 degrees now see the original face is facing towards this down direction and now if you enable this now see the grass has been faced coming towards the down direction so that's why make sure you have to check this direction of this circle here so just we can put it to like 90 or else we can do another uh, another thing uh, so for example suppose if you put it to minus 90 and if you want to reverse this direction we can take an another node called reverse so if you select this and if you take an reverse node so just if you have to connect to this thing so now see it has been reversed the direction of this grass here so in this case uh, just i will uh, delete this just i will put this to like 90 and now what the thing is all the grass are facing towards the single direction now we need to make a random rotation for this grass here so in order to do that we can select this scatter align and we can go to this orientation and here you can see there is an option called max angle and minimum angle so here we can use this option so that uh, we can make it the random rotation of this grass so play with these values until you are happy with this angle of this grass here and let's say i will put it to like 0 and 360 and then also we can see we got the random rotation of this grass here and also now if you want to make a random angle like uh, spreading towards the different different direction uh, so here you can see there is an option called uh, max random cone so if you enable this so we can bend it randomly and also just i will increase the density in case if you want uh, so yeah. So see here when we drag it is going up to the maximum 10 itself so here we can type so suppose if you want 20 then we can increase up to 20. So let's I will put it to like uh, 30 or something so now we got this thing and just we can increase the spread here. Yes. And also uh, see now we have a back face calling here so in order to disable that we can see there is an option like thing back facing so just disable it 
so that we can able to see proper model here. And also see uh, the model is not looking uh, proper. Uh, still, we can able to see the segments. Uh, that means we have to increase the number of points. Uh, so for example, we can go to this line here and just we can increase the number of points so that we can make it a little bit smoother. So let's say I will put it to random like 40. So yeah. And now what the thing is all the size of this grass are equal. So we need to make some of the grass to be like small and some of the grass to be bigger. So now in order to do that, what we can do is we can take another node. Uh, so like attribute randomize. So we can take this uh, node called attribute randomize. So just we can select this and just we can connect to here. So defaultly we got the random color, but what the thing is we need to change it to scale. So here you can see there is an option like attribute name CD that means like color. So what we need to do is just we need to select this and we have to type like P scale. And if you click on this now you can see some of the grass petals are small and some of the grass are bigger. And here we can increase the global scale. So see now. So we'll make it a little bit small. Uh, so let's say up to here. And still we need to increase the density. Uh, so like we can go to this scatter line, just we can put it to like 300 or something. So see now about this. And in this we can increase the scale. And if you want to spread more, uh, we can go to this and just we can spread it more. So that's fine here. And also see that down, uh, we need to increase the size of this circle. Uh, so if you go, we can increase the size. So we can spread the grass a little bit more. And now what the thing is, I want to spread this grass, uh, not like a circle, just I want to spread it like uh, a rectangular shape. So what we can do is like we can take a grid here. So just I will take a grid. So select this and just I will set the display flag here. And now just we can scale it. And now what the thing is instead of this circle, just I will uh, connect it to grid here, the scatter align. So just in order to disconnect this, we can shake it uh, so that it will like disconnect this node. And now we'll connect this to grid here. And now we will set this to display flag and now see it has been spread uh, towards this grid here. And now what the thing is, now we can paint wherever we want to place a grass here. So in order to do that, uh, we can go to the scatter align. And here we can see there is an option like density attribute. So you can enable this. And now what the thing is here, we have to click on this uh, option. So if you click on this, now here you will get a brush here. So what the thing is now previously it has been scattered over all the grid here, but now we can specify some of the area so that it will create only the grass in that point here. So here now the gra uh, now the brush size is very small. So now here we can see there is a shortcut like control shift left click to in order to increase and decrease the radius of this brush. So now we'll use this shortcut like control shift left click. So now we can increase. And now what the thing is in order to scatter this just we can use this left click and drag. Okay, it's not creating. Uh, so here you can see there is an option like FG float. Uh, so I think we need to put it to like one. Uh, so here we have to select this point density and just here make sure we have to put it to one. Now if you left click and drag, see now it is creating the grass wherever we paint. So if you want here, you can select and click and drag. And now we can go to the camera view tool. So see, now we have created the grass where we have painted. So see here, when we create a paint, it has been added two nodes uh, in between the grid and scatter. Uh, so first we will delete this circle. We don't need this. So just we can put it properly. And not only grass, we can create a lot more. Uh, so, so suppose if you want to spread the tree models, or suppose if you want to spread any stones, grass. So we can do that by using the same method. So that's it for this video. See you in the next lesson.